Is this jade? What about this? What about these? While differentiating between natural and treated jadeite jade, often requires advanced gemological testing, you can learn how to identify common jade simulants based on appearance by watching this video. I'll be showing examples of jade versus not jade bangles, cabochons, beads, mounted jewelry, and rough. So be sure to watch this video and hit the like button if this is the information you're looking for. Let's start with these bangles. This bangle has a dark green color, greasy luster, and black inclusions. Do you think this is real jade? This was mined in British Columbia, Canada by Jade West Mining and is definitely nephrite jade. This bangle is jadeite jade, an entirely different color, but still a jade. There are two gemstones gemologically considered jade in the USA, nephrite jade and jadeite jade. And while they have different chemical compositions, they are similar in that they are both great carving stones with incredible toughness and play a huge role in the history of cultures all over the world. So what is this? It doesn't quite look like either of them, though both nephrite jade and jadeite jade have a range of colors and qualities. Notice this bangle is a yellow-green color. It is a textbook example of serpentine, a common jade simulant, however beautiful. The price tag, $40, is still on this piece, and given the size and richness of color, we know that it isn't jadeite jade. This bangle would most likely be confused with nephrite jade, not jadeite jade, but we can tell that it's serpentine because of its appearance and hardness. Also, if you're very experienced with jade, you would be able to tell in person that this is lighter than jade usually is, and it has a soapy texture, so it actually feels different from jade. Here are some other examples of serpentine. Serpentine scratches much easier than jade does, so it's not always great for jewelry. And it breaks much easier when compared to jadeite jade and nephrite jade. Which is why it's important to know if your jewelry is jade or serpentine. If you've already learned something from this video, please subscribe and let me know in the comments which of the two jades is your favorite. Moving on to these loose stones. One is a polished palm stone and the other is a cabochon for jewelry. Which one do you think is jade? This jadeite stone is a pale green color with streaks of darker apple green. It has a glassy luster that is very typical of jadeite jade. This also has a glassy luster, but it is a color that is very specific to aventurine quartz. This one is not jade. Even though jadeite jade can be light-colored green, this particular hue combined with these blue-green inclusions make this aventurine easy to identify based on color alone. Also, the price was under $100 and the size is unusual for natural jadeite of even green color. Here are some other examples of aventurine quartz. As you can see, aventurine quartz would make a better simulant for jadeite jade, and serpentine would make a better simulant for nephrite jade. The green jadeite jade stone that we just looked at is natural, meaning untreated jadeite jade, and has been tested and guaranteed by a trustworthy seller, Mason K. Jade. Price is a good indicator that this jade is natural, but be warned, many treated jades are not disclosed and sold at unfairly high prices so it's important to shop with a seller you trust. If you want to learn more about treated versus natural jades, check out my video, Real vs. Fake Jades, link is in the description. Do you think these beads are jadeite jade? If you're wondering if jade comes in these different colors, the answer is yes. Natural jadeite jade comes in a wide range of colors, including green, blue, lavender, yellow, orange, red, gray, black, white, and ice. These beads have a glassy luster. They're cold to the touch. But here is the biggest giveaway. Look at how vivid these red beads are. True red jadeite jade is exceptionally rare, and these beads were purchased for less than $100. So the correlation between price and color is a huge indicator that these are not real jade. In fact, these beads are glass. Other indicators include the strand being strung unknotted with no fine metal clasp or adjustable cord, plus the beads look like glass upon closer inspection. 
Here is an example of a typical strand of natural, untreated, genuine jadeite jade multicolor beads from Mason K. The more natural jade you've seen, the easier it is to detect simulants. You feel like a jade expert yet? Unfortunately, not all jade simulants are easy to detect with the naked eye. Dyed green quartz, green grossular garnet, and other gems may have to be gemologically tested to distinguish them from jadeite jade. In the cases where the appearance isn't obviously a not jade, your local independent jewelry store probably has a certified gemologist appraiser on staff that can help you distinguish between nephrite jade and jadeite jade, as well as the jades and their simulants. I'm including links below that can help connect you with a store near you that can offer gem identification services. Just know that even if it's determined that your stone is jadeite jade, it will still have to be tested for the presence of polymer impregnation. While your local certified gemologist appraiser can probably tell you if your jadeite jade piece has been dyed, detecting the impregnation of polymer, wax, or resin requires more advanced equipment than what a jewelry store typically has. You can send your Jade I Jade piece into Mason K or a gem lab such as GIA or AGL to have it tested for the presence of polymers. See the link in the video description to learn more. One of these is Jade and one of these is Chrysoprase. Can you tell which is which? Both of these have the look of natural Jade I Jade, but only this one actually is. This pendant is Chrysoprase, a green variety of chalcedony. An experienced gemologist who's interacted with a lot of Chrysoprase will probably know that this isn't jade. But in cases like these where the color really does look like jade, one should always test to know best. This piece was tested using refractometry at Mason Gay. Chrysoprase can still be a valuable stone, and it's beautiful, so don't be disappointed if your gem report comes back as Chrysoprase instead of jade. Just remember that it's not as valuable and not as durable as jade is. Nephrite jade and jadeite jade are two of the toughest gemstones in the world, with jadeite jade being up to 24 times harder to break than a diamond, and nephrite jade being up to 48 times harder to break than a diamond. And finally, we have these two rough specimens. This one has already been cut into by my husband, so you can probably tell that this one is a jade stone. Jade rough can vary in appearance quite drastically, which is why we teamed up with Freshwater Jade on a video on identifying rough jade. You can find the link in the video description. This beautiful rough gem is Chrysoprase. You will never see rough jade that looks like this. The color, the shape, the luster is all textbook Chrysoprase. So there you have it. Hopefully you'll recognize serpentine, aventurine, glass, and chrysoprase if they're posing as jade. But when in doubt, shop with a trustworthy seller. Ask your local independent jewelry store about shopping for natural jadeite jade, or you can shop direct with Jot recommended sellers listed in the video description. Stick around and watch this video on how to identify real versus fake pearls.